No pain, no gain. It's just wrong. We don't have to be in pain to make progress. Fun is a much better teacher than struggle. It's time to change the way we think about high performance progress. I invite you to shift that paradigm just a touch. Okay, maybe 180 degrees. Sure, we can grind it out. We can strive and struggle and crawl through fire to get what we want, but let's save all that pain for the rare times it might actually be necessary. Learning doesn't always have to come from pain. We can have a great time, a blast even, and still learn a ton along the way. If you don't learn to learn from your wins, you're gonna have a hard time repeating them and building on them. If you don't build some fun in, you might find it's hard to make the progress you want over the long term. Let me give you three quick examples of how applying a bit more fun, looking for the easier and more enjoyable way even, actually brings me much better high performance results. Example number one, I've been at war with veggies or sour cream and onion chips for a long time, but raw veggies or sour cream and onion chips, it's a false choice. Food that tastes so good, I would rather eat it is the key to better healthy eating. And raw veggies are not those foods. I've discovered there are more healthy foods than sour cream and onion chips that are maybe a little less healthy than raw veggies, but much more tasty are foods that I'll eat over the long term. And then I make better food choices over the long term. So then instead of trying to eat, you know, a big nasty bowl of raw broccoli, for instance, and then jumping to chips because I give up after a half a day of crazy healthy eating, I've learned that's just not gonna work for me. So why not make the easy, enjoyable, fun option and find something that's a little better? Same thing with workouts. You know, I've had to found, find workouts that work for me. I'm not gonna run. I won't even run when I'm being chased by scary people. I'd rather get beat up than run. So instead, I'm achieving my health and wellness goals, finally, by eating stuff that happens to be delicious. Yeah, way more healthy, but not so over the top that I'm just eating those nasty bowls of raw broccoli. And I'm loving my workouts. They're tough, they're challenging, they're building me, but they're built around what I enjoy doing. And that means much more consistency. Fun can be profitable. Fun can be high performance. Another example, example number two. I hate class. I hate school. I hate sitting and watching a teacher lecture in a classroom setting. But you know what I love? I love listening to people tell stories. I love watching movies. I learn so much this way and it's fun. We live in such an amazing time. Why not grab onto that? We can literally learn anything by watching movies. Wow! Instead of sitting in a class being bored at school, I'm learning a ton by reading books. Only the ones I find fascinating, by the way. And you know what? I ditched the boring ones. This week alone, I started two books I was super excited about. They came highly recommended and they were super boring. I don't care if I bought them. I'm not reading them. They're boring. I don't read boring books. And I'm taking super engaging online courses. Only the ones I find are super engaging that stretch my imagination about what's possible and keep me wanting to learn more. Guess what? I'm learning more than I ever have in my whole life. So much better than sitting in a boring classroom listening to a boring teacher. Example number three. When I'm not chosen, for a client engagement, when I don't win that deal, I'm smart enough to ask why not and learn from that failure. It's always important to do a thorough debrief and learn what we can do better. 
But you know what's more fun and even more valuable? Asking why we were chosen when we do win the big top spot. So instead, when I get positive feedback from clients or win a competitive situation, I just ask why. And I focus on that instead of the losses. It's so much more fun. I know, we're constantly taught, fail forward, push harder, nail down the win, to go to battle for what we want and fight for our dreams. Listen to that language. Failing forward, pushing harder, nailing down the win, battling for what we want, fighting for our dreams. Yeah, it's kind of tough and maybe studly, but is it really necessary? We can do that. I just think there's a better way. There's a less painful way. All that battle is nonsense. N nonsense. All that talk about the grind. It's simply too dramatic, even for me. <laughs> Instead of hunting our goals, how about sitting quietly and allowing our successes to come to us? How about simply pointing that canoe downstream and allowing it to flow for us? This happens when we simply appreciate what we have. When we sit by the river of life and we have gratitude for what comes floating by. We leave ourselves open in these situations to the best of the possibility. So how do you invite success instead of chasing it? How do you enjoy the progress without depending on struggle and grind? It's simple. Ask yourself better questions to find the most joyful way to learn and progress. So here are some of my favorite questions. 10 questions. Number one, what's a more exciting way to learn what I need to learn right now? For me, this means, as I said, there might be an engaging instructor with awesome stories. There might be someone who has an adventurous spirit that I can learn from. Maybe there's a documentary I can watch. So maybe I change the format of how I learn. Maybe there's a real world trip I could tie to this education. Is there somewhere really fun I could travel to to study this one piece? For instance, if I wanna learn more about art, are there a few places in the world where there's the kind of art I really love that I can learn from instead of just simply sitting in a boring art history class? Number two. What can I do to make this next challenge more fun? For instance, while I'm writing my book right now, sometimes, frankly, it can be a little bit of a grind. So I'm learning to write my music, my book to different theme music. Some days, depending on the chapter I'm writing, I might be listening to jazz, sometimes electronic dance music. My favorite lately, as I'm writing these really dramatic chapters of my book, is to listen to epic movie theme music. Uh, there are some great epic movie theme musics, uh, music, and you know everything from Star Wars uh, to, um, well, I can't even think of one right now, but there's lots of fun stuff out there. Google it and you'll find some. Number three, who would I bring along on this journey? Is there a friend that would make this journey of discovery or effort more fun? You know, really, when we bring someone with us, we increase the joy in, in those moments. We make that whole tr journey and challenge much more fun. So bring somebody with you. You know, could you imagine sitting at your favorite rock concert and you were the only one in the audience? No, it's the whole group of people cheering along with you that makes it so much more fun. Number four, can I find the humor in this? Can I take myself and my progress a little less seriously? Because I certainly take myself way too seriously sometimes. So what's, what's funny about this path I'm on? When I lighten up and I laugh more, I usually step up to the next level. It just kind of happens naturally. This number four, what's the humor in this? It's a story for me. It's a reminder for me specifically because I often just forget to lighten up. Number five, what would be an easier way to do this thing? When I stopped tracking 
my sales numbers, for instance, when I stop judging myself so harshly, when I, when I just focused on how do I add value for people and how do I genuinely like and care about these people, my business soared. It was easier and I made more money. Sometimes easier is much more profitable. In fact, when you really stop to look at it, you'll find most of the time easier the flow, the lightness, the fun, that's where all the profit is too. Number six, if I were more lazy, how would I approach this? You see, I always feel like if I'm doing something that's really, really hard, I'm on the right track and that's wrong. What would I do if I were more lazy? Yeah, really, like have you ever noticed lazy people come up with the coolest innovations? because lazy people are always trying to find an easier way. I'm sure it was a super lazy person that ended up figuring out the wheel. Number seven, how can I gamify this for myself? You know, I like to make a game of my workouts. When I think about hitting a new high score, instead of worrying about making the workout harder, it's much more fun. I end up lifting more and I end up having a ton more success. Number eight, what am I really, really good at? What just comes naturally for me? Where do I really click into that flow state that takes me far, far, far beyond what I think is possible? How do I do more of that? Number nine, what location could add more fun to this work? While I was preparing for this video yesterday, I was sitting in my office and I was writing notes and plugging away at the keyboard and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go grab a Starbucks. And it was beautiful out yesterday and as I was walking around and I was out in the sunshine and people were milling about and there was activity and great energy, most of the idea for this video came to me. It wasn't coming to me while I was sitting grinding out this video content at my computer. It came to me while I just let go, relaxed, got out into the sunshine, grabbed some coffee. So location often can really change our state of mind and our perspective. Number 10, if I could find a more lighthearted approach, what would that be? And that's deeply connected to the one from, um, from the, last, the last point, right? We can change the location, we can also just cha change the approach. How could I have a more lighthearted approach? How could this be a little bit more fun? You see, monumental progress doesn't have to be painful. Sure, sometimes life hurts and we can learn from that pain, but pain doesn't equal progress. Busy doesn't equal profitable. No pain, no gain. It's crap. We can grow. We can get the best gains in the sunshine with friends and great music and delicious food. Darkness isn't our only teacher. So it's springtime. The world is coming back to life. Let this be your time to come back to life better than ever. Go have fun. I believe in you. You got this. Have fun and reach your dreams along the way.